Today we're going to take growing food on our off-grid homestead one step further. We've got our fruits, we got our vegetables. What about fungi? Let's learn how to grow some mushrooms. Aloha everybody, Sean with Homestead in Hawaii. Thanks again for joining me. Gosh, I am so excited to grow some mushrooms with y'all. I have been wanting to do this project for ages. I've grown mushrooms before, but I've never really grown them out of a five gallon bucket. I've done the log sporing. I've grown them out of wood chips. I've grown them straight in the garden. I've grown mushrooms in every other way, but growing them in a five gallon bucket. And this method proved to be so easy. Anyone can do this method, I guarantee. All we're gonna need are just a few simple supplies. We just need a five gallon bucket with a lid. We need some straw or coffee grounds, preferably both. And I picked up my coffee grounds from Starbucks. They had bags and bags ready for me to take. They're so happy they didn't have to take it to the dump. And then last thing you're gonna need is mushroom spawn and we're using oyster mushrooms today so let's dive in and see how it's all done first thing we're gonna do is boil some water so that we can pasteurize the straw and make it clean to accept our oyster mushroom mycelium and then we're gonna let it sit for 24 hours and while it's sitting we can work on making our buckets and we're gonna start off by having eighth inch holes drilled into the bottom to allow for some drainage. You could see I spaced them out in sort of a diamond pattern. So just get enough holes that we have enough drainage. And then we're gonna drill quarter inch holes along the side, about two inches apart from each other. And then we'll do a diamond pattern going all the way across the bucket. We got some quarter inch holes drilled all around the bucket, spaced out nicely. These are the holes where the mushrooms are gonna poke their heads out and then you'll see their fruiting bodies. We have some burrs left over from drilling out the holes. You can see how I removed the burrs. Just lay the blade flat on the bucket and just push and they come right out. So now the bucket is ready. You can see all the holes inside the bucket and the holes down in the bottom. We are ready to grow mushrooms. So give this thing a little wipe. If you want a little extra added security, you could add some alcohol and give it a wipe inside to sterilize it even more. And then we could begin to layer our substrate. All right, so the next step that we have to do for growing our mushrooms, now that we have our bucket prepared, is we're gonna do two different substrates to grow our oyster mushrooms. Substrates are the material that the mushrooms are gonna grow on. And so we already pasteurized our straw and we have coffee grounds. And so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna have one bucket that is a mixture of straw and coffee grounds and another bucket that is all straw. And we're gonna add the mycelium to those. So first we're gonna mix coffee and straw so that it's nice and fluffy because coffee grounds on its own tends to get real compact and that's hard for mycelium to be able to populate. So we're gonna Loosen that up and make it a little more fluffy by adding in some straw into the mix. So when I make my mix, I like to add uh, some coffee grounds in there first. I'm using this bucket purely as a place to mix the straw and coffee. And then I'm going to add it to my actual mushroom growing bucket after we're done here. I'm using a metal spoon that has been sterilized instead of digging it out with my hands. And I'm going to get it about a quarter of a way full. And then I'm going to add some straw. So now we're going to mix in about 30% of the amount of straw to the coffee. You can see the straw is wet in here. We don't want all that water, but we do want our straw to be wet. Mycelium will not colonize dry straw. So a couple scoops of that, and then we're going to toss it like a salad. Try and get the straw well mixed with those coffee grounds. Okay, so let's, let's add some more. Just keep layering the coffee grounds and straw and mixing it until you get to the top of the bucket. Now that is the kind of a mix that we're looking for when it comes to growing our 
mushrooms that is straw and coffee. It's about 60 to 70% coffee and 30% straw. Well, now comes the hard part, growing the actual mushrooms. Actually, you'll be surprised how easy it really is once you have all the rest of the stuff all ready to go. But we got ourselves some Florida oyster mushrooms. I got from Mushroom Mitch out on Maui. And these guys grow great in the tropics. Oyster mushrooms thrive out here. They grow well on wood chips of junk trees. They grow well on coffee grounds and straw. They grow well on a lot of things. And they actually love our humidity out here as well. So we're gonna grow these. Let's get right to it right now. Right, first things first, we're gonna layer just a couple inches of coffee and straw down on the bottom. And we're not trying to compact any of this down. We actually want it to be loose and airy for the mycelium to spread. And then we're gonna take our mycelium. And you can see this is well colonized here. If you could give it a sniff test, as long as it smells fr kind of fresh and you know mushroomy, then it's still good to go. And all you need to do is just sprinkle it on. Okay, next layer, couple inches again of straw and coffee, and then add more mycelium. Once again, just layer the mycelium and the substrate until you get to the top of the bucket. It's pretty simple. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing with this bucket, but only with straw. Squeeze out any of the extra moisture. Get a nice layer down there. Once again, sprinkle in some mycelium, breaking it up as you sprinkle it in. The rest of this bag should probably be finished up inside this bucket here. And we're just going to continue layering the straw and the mycelium just like we did in the last bucket that we spawned. All right. Now we're gonna get a lid on this bucket and we're gonna set them both aside for a couple weeks until we start to see fruiting mushroom bodies start to form out of the holes on the side of the bucket. Oh my God, check out all these mushrooms. These things are growing so quickly. If you haven't already, plant your finger on the like button because this is crazy. This is the 100% straw based bucket. And these mushrooms have taken about two weeks to get to this point. And then down here, we have our coffee ground bucket. And you can see the mycelium is just under the surface. So I'm guessing we're about another week past the 100% straw bucket for in order to have some fruiting to happen. So if you're wanting to space out the, your mushroom harvest, it's a pretty good method. But if you want to get faster production, straw all the way. When it comes to harvesting your mushrooms, you could just break it right off the bucket, give it a little rinse and use it straight into your cooking. Isn't it amazing what can grow out in your food forest? Abundance abounds. Thanks for joining me on our mushroom growing journey today. It was super, fun to do this project and I know you will have so much fun doing it too. If you got some kids at home, even better. This is a super great project for them to do and this, this could be something that they be responsible for in the future. They could be the mushroom growers. Thanks for joining me today. Till next time, ahui ho!